Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency once again. Yes sir, we are. So today, we are doing mission number 28, the Seismometer. Check out our briefing here. We only have one objective on this one. We must land a seismometer on blue. Our maximum budget is $20 million, and our maximum time is 20 minutes, zero seconds. Our scientists have created a seismometer experiment to gather data about the planet Bluteon. Navicomp Blue. Deliver this device to the planet and land on its surface. So, for this mission, we have a maximum budget for the gold award of seven million five hundred thousand dollars and a maximum time of eight minutes zero seconds without a checkpoint let's get going let's not keep you guys waiting what do we got here let's well let's see what the what's the seismometer okay so i think i think this seismometer definitely is a small stage like thingy so we're gonna go to a small stage and we're gonna which one do we want? Do we want the this one? No, let's let's use the Titan, just because the Titan's one of my probably my favorite small stage rocket. Maybe. I don't know, the long march is good too. The Mercury's cheap, and that's about all it's got going for it. Alright, and then we'll use some boosters, and then what do we need for a fairing? Do we need a can we use this arrow fairing? That's nah, okay. So we need the standard fairing, and that's it. So we have our rocket for six million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and it's the Titan II first stage, the connector, small to small, the small tug, the seismometer, the standard fairing, and some long march boosters. And that brings us six million two hundred thousand two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and we're ready to go. All right, so we'll skip ahead. At about four seconds, we'll hit the button. And we'll wait. And then we'll just... We can just start pulsing right out of the gate because, you know, this is a real light load, I think. And we don't need to do too much to get it up into space because, you know, reasons. <laughs> uh, there we are. So, we start to roll right now. And we're just gonna kind of stay right here. Just keep pulsing a little bit. Got about three seconds left on our th boosters. There they go. Start Boosters. turning ourselves up and we can do some... What can we call this? When we kind of like jump like to the left and back down and we kind of let ourselves settle. What do we want to call that? Like dolphin diving? Nah, that's too... That's going to be too well used. I don't know. Well, th I'll think about that. Maybe I can come up with something clever. Approaching it. All right. So we are heading to the planet Blue. Fairing and step. Stage step. did they tell us where Blue is? Hold on. Where is Blue? Blue. Navicomp Blue. Hmm. They don't tell us where Blue is. Navicomp Blue. Where is blue? Blue, blue, oop, right there. Ah, okay, so it's down to the left. I should have probably figured that out before I even started this, but, you know, where would the fun be in that? So when we come back around, we're going to head to the purple planet. And that satellite is going to wreck me when I try to leave orbit. Not satellite, the telescope. Okay. Okay, so the telescope was nice to me. Alright, so we're going to purple. This will be our first visit to purple also. First and only visit. I don't think we come anywhere near it again, but, you know, that that's fine. Alright, so we are heading to purple. Where is blue going to be? Blue's there. So, I wonder if I... If I just take and... Can I skim through the atmosphere on purple? Do I want to try that? 
blue's over this way. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to avoid purple altogether. I'm just gonna kind of send us in this direction, right here. And we'll stay right at travel speed. And we'll see if this was a disaster or not. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out, guys. I'm slightly worried here, but we got this. We get a seismometer, and we've got plenty of fuel, and we're heading off into the abyss that is space. This gigantic void of nothingness that's, you know, the most inhospitable place on Earth to us. You know, and we're 1,300 units away from an unknown planet that we've never seen before. And we were almost... We were almost going to hit another planet that we've never seen before, but reasons I didn't want to. We might be passing close enough to purple that I can actually see it as we go by. We'll try that. We'll, we'll see if I can see purple as I go by. But blue's coming right up. We got about a hundred more units and then it should show up somewhere on the screen for me. And we'll see how close I was with my random flying places stuff. Come on, where is it? Okay, 22 units. 22 units away! Blue! Oh wow, I was really close. Just like that. Okay, we'll be inside. Ah, so purple's right there. Huh. So that looks like a nice solid planet that we could maybe land on. That would be awesome. Okay. Boom. So we have lined ourselves up on blue. And we're going to get ourselves just back to travel speed here. And we get about 800 units. Ooh, and the sun. The soul. I wonder what else is out here. Blue, purple. Yellow, red, green, moon, home, soul, jor. We've seen all of those. EDS, MSS, station, gold, blue, purple. Okay, so there's one planet beyond blue. It's the gold planet, or G-O-L planet. I don't know if that stands for gold. I assume it stands for gold, since everything else seems to be based off colors and... I can't think of another color that starts with G-O-L. Hmm. It's an interesting thought. Are there any other colors that start with G-O-L? I don't think there are. Unless they're derivatives of gold, like maybe there's a Crayola color called Goldenrod, which is slightly different than gold because Crayola has millions of colors for some strange reason. Um, yeah, we're almost at blue. Back on topic. Back on topic. Almost at blue. We must land this seismometer on its surface in order to do experiments and stuff and things and yeah. Seismometer. So we're detecting earthquakes. How do we know that the planet has earthquakes? Are we just assuming? Or is this that just part of the that just part of the uh, experiment? There's blue. It's a nice. That's a real pretty blue. I like it. I like that blue. Nice deep blue. How do we know it's not water though? Hmm. Let's get ourselves ready to slow down here because we do not want to overshoot this one. We're so close. Where's gold? Gold should be showing up. Oh, gold. Wow, it's like perfectly straight through from where we were coming. All right, so we need to slow this thing down here. And once we slow it down, how how much? We'll slow it down right to here. Rotate. Oh, uh, man. Oh, uh, well, released. that's fine. I've got fuel on this seismometer. So I can take the seismometer and I can rotate it perfectly aligned with the planet and get myself ready 
because we want to come in nice and gently on this planet. Nice and gently. And boom! We have landed. And we have the gold award for a mission complete. We took 7 minutes 20 seconds at a cost of $6.25 million. And we've unlocked new rocket parts. Because, just so everyone knows, I think you all should be aware, but every time you complete one of these career missions, you actually unlock new rocket parts for the sandbox mode. Which is wonderful and fun, and you can make all sorts of things, because, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy this game very much. So, thank you all so much for watching. Next time when we come back, we will do possibly the most difficult mission in the game. The ADS Expansion. Yes. But that's next time. So, I am Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Agency. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a wonderful night.